Hello everyone, welcome to the couch. My name is Izzy B and I am your host. And I'm Eric Daddario. I am Izzy B's co-host. Welcome back everyone. So about two weeks ago, Eric and I made a challenge about the virtual race and we were gonna challenge each other to see how far we could run and whoever runs the farthest wins something or we just get, you know, bragging, bragging rights. rights. <laughs> there you go, bragging rights. So how many miles have you run since our challenge? Three. But, oh. but I will be going out tomorrow. So I'm going to try okay, it out. Will, will we and having those miles behind you are two different things. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. That's so true. You know, um, so we'll see. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. But yes, I mean, I, I'm hoping to run five. I'm hoping to run five miles tomorrow. So, um, hey, maybe even six. Maybe even six. So we'll see. And that will, that will bring yeah. me a total of, of nine. Um, so that, that, that'll be a decent amount for me. What about you? Where are you at? I am at six miles, um, and oh I'll be doing God. some more this week. Me and my boyfriend, we do a lot of hiking. So um, that we consider those our miles. But I'm going to be honest, he's blowing both of us out of the water at 42 miles since we've started this. Oh my so God. that's a big SOS on our end. <laughs> <laughs> well, and a big SOS. If you already have six, then I might have to do about seven, eight tomorrow. That'll take me a while, but I might have to do that. Because with your hiking stuff, you're probably going to get a decent amount. So... I might have yeah, to do I a mean, little more than six. I mean, a mile's a mile. So, I mean, if you walk it, if you run it, if you bike it, it's, oh, it's, it's all, true. It's all that's, that's true. That's true. So, so that's our update. Um, we'll then re-update again um, on the next episode, which is the very last day of the virtual race. So that's when we will conclude who ran the most. And maybe maybe we'll, maybe we'll make a prize. I don't know. Or maybe we'll just get bragging rights, one of the two. We'll, we'll determine it then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think we'll at least bragging rights. At least. Right. And I love, I love bragging rights, so I'm going to have to step my <laughs> game up here. I'm going to have to step my game up. Maybe, oh, I'll go yeah. for, maybe I'll go for a run after this. For a few miles. We'll yeah, see. At seven o'clock seven, seven, seven o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> a little late night okay. run. Yeah, right. Never never hurt anyone. No. Okay, so let's check in to see what the virtual teen race and how that's going. So it looks like we have all collaboratively have run about about four hundred miles together. That's awesome. And even better yet, together we have raised $4,700. So good job, everyone. You guys are doing so awesome. That data is from about, about yep, yesterday. So that is updated. Keep sending in your miles. Keep raising money because the more money you raise, the more awesome prizes you get. I think we already have about two or three people who have already won a Zoom and a signed book. We have some people who have won bag sacks, some shirts, sunglasses. So keep fundraising, keep running. We have already surpassed as the entire virtual race. For the entire race, we have run about 3,700 miles. So we have completely surpassed our goal for running, but we still need to continue to raise more money. So keep up the good work, guys. You're doing so awesome. Thank you for your participation. And now we are going to offer you some other fun contests and surprises that you can do to stay more and actively engaged with us. So contest number one, if you comment below in the comment section, a question or a topic you'd like to see, then you could be entered to win a $10 gift card, Amazon, Dunkin', Starbucks, all that good stuff. Contest number two, if you send in to us what you are doing to help support the virtual race, then you could also be entered to win a gift card. $10 to Starbucks, Amazon, Dunkin', all that fun stuff. Also, if you send in to us what you are doing to help support the virtual race, we will give you a live segment on harem projects, social media, and as well as future you on the next Purple Couch episode as a highlighted youth for what you're doing to help support us during our empowerment annual appeal this year. Last but not least, if you go into the email that I've recently sent out and take the poll for what shirt you like best, what shirt design you like best, you will also again be entered to win a gift card. 
ten dollars to Starbucks, Amazon, all that good stuff. So that is the contest for this week. We will announce the winners July thirty first. So tonight we have an, a very special guest. Her name is Mia and she is a youth that has been doing some awesome fundraising efforts for the Heron Project during the virtual race this month. So we're going to bring her on tonight to really highlight her and her story behind what she's doing so we can show everyone and maybe you all will also send in some awesome things that you are doing during the virtual race as well. Okay, so hi Mia, welcome to the couch. Hello. Thank you so much for coming on tonight to talk to us. Welcome. So, um, do you want to just give us like a little, little bit about you, so you know everyone knows where you're from, who you are? Well, my name is Mia Mastro. I live in Holden, Massachusetts. And yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, you're a seventh grader, right? Yes. Awesome. See, we're making big moves in seventh grade. Wow. <laughs> That's so, great. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, so the past couple weeks, you've been um, doing a shooting arrows fundraiser to help raise money. People buy arrows, and then you shoot, and then um, it lands on a number, and that's the amount that the arrow costs. So do you want to tell a little bit more about um, the fundraiser, You know why you started it, what got you into archery, all, all of that fun stuff? Sure. Um, so recently... Well, not very recently, but in the past few years, my dad has been into hunting, and he also has a bow and arrow. And we went to my dad's friend's house once, and his daughter had a bow and arrow, and I loved it so much. So, like a month ago, I think, right? And a month ago, we went to a bow and arrow store, and we I got one. And then we had this great idea, and... Yeah. That's a turn. I thought I was gonna get ten arrows, and then I ended up getting. What do we have now? Hundred and forty-seven. Hundred and forty-seven arrows. So. Woo! Wow. Dango, you you are racking up the money. <laughs> wow! Damn. So so, how long have you actually been doing it? We, um, shooting. Yes. Yes. How long have you actually been doing it? When did you get your bow and arrow? I'm not sure, like a month ago? A month ago? A month ago? Yeah. But then I started practicing a few weeks. Like, I've been more into it. Oh, wow. I've been practicing a lot. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, it, it looks like a really, really heavy bow and arrow. I'm not going to lie. I'm I know. back 35 pounds. That wow. is heavy. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if my... Sh I have swimming shoulders, so I do not know if I would be able to do that. <laughs> you must got like an arm, girl. I know. You You might have to give me some lessons. It seems like it's pretty cool, but I don't know if I can do that. I don't know. It probably takes a lot of practice, right? Yeah. I Since I've been doing it for a while now, it's not as hard for me to pull it back. But in the beginning, like the first day I got it, I was like bending all the way back just to pull it back. <laughs> I bet. I bet. There's, there's probably definitely right, like a certain technique to it. Yeah. Now, do you so, shoot? Can you shoot from, you know, is there certain distances kind of further and further? Like, how, how does that work? I kind of just know. Like, I don't know. Like, I stand at my target, and then I just kind of walk back, and I stand where I feel comfortable. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So awesome. how much um, money have you raised from this entire entire fundraiser? Um. On my page, I'm up to two that no, not two thousand, one thousand five hundred fifty dollars. But my mom won't tell me my total of arrows, the total amount of money. For my arrows. <laughs> I want to be surprised. I want to be surprised. So, oh wow! I so, like that. I like that. Okay. That's that's awesome. That is that that's that's a lot of money. Um, I think that's, she, uh, she's supposed to be going live on the twenty or uh, uh, sometime 20th. soon. And I was yes, the twenty second. The twenty second. I was going to put yeah. the total in an envelope and let her open it live, so she'll know then what. Oh, that's doing. cool. That's a cool way to do it. That's, that's awesome. Different. Something different. Yeah, right? definitely. Exactly. So th this this entire thing is something different. I'm loving it. <laughs> I know. I know. It's inspiring me to maybe try to do something here to start raising some money. Something right. different like this, <laughs> right? So. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go <laughs> so ahead. we really, we really wanted to highlight you tonight because uh, one, you are very inspiring and very creative, and I think so many other students should see that. Maybe, maybe it'll get like you know something going. They're like, hey, that's a really cool idea, um, and maybe you know we'll start seeing a lot more youth come out and see what they're doing for the virtual race, um, as well as we are starting to launch some contests this week, and we'll be announcing the winners of the following week. So. Um, I think you are an awesome example and you continue to be a great example and role model for really being determined no matter the circumstances we are under regarding the world and that many of us probably can't go out and do the fundraising that we usually think of and you're just blowing it out of the water and doing something that I don't think even many people would think of. So awesome, Absolutely. awesome job with that. Um, I saw you got a call from Chris Heron last night. Do you, do you want to talk about that too? Sure. Um, so I was expecting a call from him, but mm -hmm. I didn't know when. I didn't know what he was going to ask me. My mom just said, hey, if you get a call from a weird number, answer it because you're supposed to be getting a special call. So <laughs> I, we were, my dad came home with ice cream, and we were eating ice cream. And then I go, oh, my God, Mom, it's a weird number. <laughs> so, <laughs> I knew he was calling. And... We just kind of talked. I want him to come. We were talking about how I want him to come to my school because I feel like that would be really fun. Mm -hmm. And I want to start a club at my school. Okay. There you go. There you so, go. If we're allowed to do that in next year, yeah. I want to start one. So That's awesome. I'm so happy that you were able to talk to him. That is He's a great guy, <laughs> honestly. Um, that's awesome you want to start a club, though. I think that's, like, really important. I was your age, too, when I was starting a club at my school for SAD. Um, and then it led me to some really awesome destinations. So I think you, you're you going to go places. You, you're... You're she's gonna, well, you're gonna move mountains. <laughs> she, she's well ahead of the curve. She's well, well ahead. Uh, I, I, I can I can say... Yeah, she's probably well ahead of a lot of people. So, you know, as Izzy said, you're an inspiration. You're doing awesome things. Just keep doing what you're doing. You've inspired me. You've inspired me. So definitely just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you're you. awesome. Awesome. So, so keep up the good work. Thank you for coming onto the couch with us tonight. I know it was quick, but um, we'll also be putting a lot of your videos from you shooting arrows into the video as well. So um, thank you, thank you so much. You're, and, you're doing it absolutely awesome. And I may be getting in contact with you for some lessons. So you know, I I, I might I might be taking that up. So and I live in Massachusetts too. So okay. yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Okay. Yes, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So we will we will see you on the flip side. Thank you again, and you are doing awesome. Remember to just be you because you're That's doing right. That. Keep it up. Keep doing that good work. Bye. 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 Thank you so much to everyone who is watching today. We've had some awesome updates about the virtual race and the new contest we are coming out with. And we had a really an amazing and inspiring youth join us tonight to talk to us about her. Yep. fundraising efforts for the virtual race and Taren project so thank you so much for tuning in so the next episode we will be talking about and wrapping up the virtual race as well as announcing the contest winners from this week's challenges so make sure you tune in on the next video july 31st 2 p.m um to hear the winners of the contest and to wrap up the virtual race thank you make sure to leave a comment Email us at this email right here if you have a question or topic you want to talk about. And we will see you in two weeks. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Okay. It was so bright. And now I'm looking a little dull. <laughs> but it, 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 you wouldn't be able to see my eyes. <laughs> oh, really? Something's wrong with my camera? Well, during one of the segments, it okay. started like buffering. Thank you so much for everyone. No. Okay. Come on. Oh, oh wow, huh? Do you hear this? What is this? Is this just ruined Izzy's recording night? Oh my god. <gasps> oh, it's coming everywhere. What the heck?
This is so. I'm not vibing with this right now. <laughs> the background. <laughs> I can't even. Listen. So when we started. You can tell what's going on. Well, when, when we started this, I could see the house in the background. Now it just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be you live well. Oh, we're switched today. <gasps> That's right. I got the black, and then, <laughs> and then I got the gray. Wow, that's uh, really coming down behind you there. Literally, <laughs> I'm so over this. <laughs> we'll continue to discuss the contest and announce the winners for the contest for the contest thirty first for the. So make sure you tune in. If I mess up, I'm just gonna be like, chop, move over. Yeah. We're eventually going live, and so that's gonna maybe, that's gonna oh. maybe. <laughs> 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 <laughs>